What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're looking at a raichu deck so raichu is a card a lot of people slept on including myself and it turns out raichu is a bit of a beast so raichu pairs up really nicely with pikachu ex and they just go hand in hand together and obviously pikachu ex being one of the strongest decks in the game um and raichu sort of fills in the spot where pikachu is weak so Pikachu can just do 90 damage. That's their max damage. And Raichu can step in and do 140 damage with Thunderbolt, which is crazy. And it's only three energy. Um, the only caveat with this, though, is that he discards all energy. So even if Raichu's got 10 energy, he doesn't care. He is going to burn it all. So that kind of sucks. And I wish they would change that. So it was like discards only three energy, but it's all energy. Um, but that's okay. We've got tricks and tips that we can work around this, and I'll show you that in a little bit. So we can work around this as well to make sure that Raichu can just keep popping off. Uh, HP, a little bit on the low side at 100, um, but again, electric Pokemon, they hit hard, and they are usually a little bit squishy, so it kind of makes sense. Also, he's not an EX card as well, so he's only going to give our opponent one point as well. I hope they do bring out a Raichu EX card though, because that'd be sweet. Love Raichu, great, great card. Let's check out the deck. So we've got one copy of Magnemite, one Magneton, two Pikachus, two Raichus, and then two Pikachu EXs. So with Magneton, we're going to use a Volt Charge, and Volt Charge will just be pumping energy onto Magneton. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use Lieutenant Surge, and basically... Again, I thought I looked at Surge and I thought he's trash, but I had a brainwave and I was like, we can transfer energy from Magneton onto Raichu. So that's one of the strategies that we can use. And then the other one we're going to use is Pikachu EX. So in general, Pikachu EX will be on the front line doing all the work. And then say someone comes on, comes along that's a little bit beefy, we're going to use our X speed to uh, get that free retreat. And then Pikachu will be on the bench. We've got two energy. We can drop Surge with Raichu and transfer energy to Raichu. And that's what we that's what we'll do. Or um, the other thing that we can do is because Pikachu EX only needs two energy, as soon as Pikachu's out there, we've got Raichu on the bench. We just pump energy into Raichu. Do the swap C. Raichu's on front. He drops the Thunderbolt. And then the second turn, we drop Surge. And then we filled up Raichu with energy again. So we can pop off twice. So that's how we can sort of work around uh, Thunderbolt. But it's crazy. We can do some really, really nice plays. So uh, then we've got two uh, two potions. You know, potions, great to keep our Pokemon alive. X speed is essential. Um, the great thing about electric Pokemon, in general, they've got very low costs of like one energy to retreat. Two Pokeballs, two Professor Oaks. They're always going to be in there. They are the core of every deck. Pokeballs to help us pick up basic Pokemon, and we need them to fill up the bench for Pikachu EX to pop off. Uh, the Professor, obviously, just helps you cycle through your deck even faster. And then we've got Sabrina, who's great, because just if there's someone that we need to swap out, we can, or we can help stall a fight. And then, obviously, Surge is in there just for Raichu. But, yeah, great deck. Let's take it into the arena. Okay, we're searching for an opponent. Opponent found. Going against Waffle Fryer. Okay, we're going up against Waffle and we're going second. That's how we want it to be. And we're going up against a grass deck. So more than likely, it is going to be uh, a Venusaur deck. If I was to put money on it, I'd say probably Venusaur Executor. That's the deck that I would go for. Just because Executor can pop off and he's so good even though he's rng he he's really really good he's a good solid card okay hoping we can get pikachu ex there we go guys living the dream and we'll put one energy into our pikachu first of all just means we can do a little bit of damage and then we can retreat next turn 
obviously I'm hoping that we can get a an X speed, but that might not happen. So we've got two professors out of 13 cards. So pretty pretty good odds. Um or you know, there's two X speeds in there as well. So four out of 13 cards, pretty good odds. I think that's 30% roughly. Oh, Pinsir. I have never played against Pinsir. So, okay, flips two coins and does 50 damage for each. It's kind of nice. Um, I definitely prefer Executor though, just because... Okay, so we're going to have to start putting energy into the back line. And it's okay. So even we are going to retreat this Pikachu no matter what. They're only going to be able to do 40 damage to us, so Pikachu can tank it. And we've got quite a lot of cards that we can sort of play around as well, swap things out. So we're in a comfortable position at the moment. Oh, see, that was a misplay. That was a misplay. So we're going to one-shot Ivysaur easily, and he's not going to be able to do any damage. Ah. Oh. Of course, Erica coming in didn't think about that. So I'm, what am I thinking? Can't use Surge this turn. So that was a misplay by me. Oh, I should have, why can't I use Surge? Oh, because we don't have Raichu out. Okay. Um, I was really confused for a second. So I was like, this is one thing that you have to be really careful as well. So remember, if you use a trainer, you can't use Sabrina and Surge together, which is really frustrating actually, because you could do some nice combos with them. And they've they've conceded already. They're scared. They were scared. All right, on to the next one, guys. Okay, we're going up against Yishang. 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 Sorry, guys, I couldn't help myself. What a name. What a name. All right, going up against the water deck. Nice. And uh, we've got a pretty good Stein hand. Wish we had Pikachu EX in there because this is the perfect cell for him. Okay, so it's probably Greninja and Starmie. Um, and yeah, Greninja can be really, really difficult to deal with. Um, he can sort of just snipe your back line, which is pretty, pretty nasty. Okay, so we've got Pikachu EX out. This is the dream right now um so this is a you know you, even if you didn't have like Raichu in hand but yeah this is okay we're definitely just gonna swap out straight away and the reason i've done that is just in case they've got red card i don't want to get red carded and then pikachu ex is sitting in the back line but yeah this is the power of pikachu ex we can maybe steamroll this guy really really fast um unless they start picking up other pokemon they are going to be in trouble so he just did he got magic up gyarados gyarados deck so i <laughs> oh this could be nasty so it just all comes down to what nips uh what misty can roll oh they got heads ask oh, anyone yeah, I think the worst I've ever seen is like nine heads from Misty. Crazy. But yeah, Froakie <laughs> with, with the flop doing 10 damage. We've got Surge already. Nice. Oh, and we've got Magneton as well. So it looks like we are going to be able to do some cheeky little plays. So let's evolve Pikachu into Raichu. And then we're just going to end our turn. So we've already burnt one X speed. Hopefully we can pick up another one. Oh, I didn't use Volt Charge. What a noob. What a noob. So I was just talking away too much, not concentrating. But that's definitely something we need to pay attention to. Um, but yeah, so we need to keep powering up with Magneton every turn. So we can one shot Frogadier and we're just going to Volt Charge up. And I guess I'm going to heal Pikachu just in case. 
pretty sure Gyarados needs four energy to do a hundred damage. So we should be okay. But yeah, this guy, Yi Shang, I can feel kind of bad for you. I feel bad for you, bro, because I don't think they've got a lot in their hand. Got 12 cards, nine. And unless they've got something in the back line, they're they're, they're gonna they're going down. Gyarados, ooh. Blastoise as well. So I feel like their deck might be one where they've got too much going on. And I've seen I've seen that mistake many, many times. When you build your Pokemon decks, you want to try and keep it down to sort of two to three Pokemon. Can't really think of any situation where I'd rather have more than that. And yeah, so now we're actually in the dream spot. This is the perfect setup for this comp. And what we're going to do is we're just going to now just put our energy into Raichu. And then when we bring out Raichu, he can just absolutely smack. And then we drop Surge and transfer energy from Pikachu EX and Magneton onto Raichu again. So we get that double slap. Yeah, I think this guy's going to have to concede. There's no way. There's no way he can beat us. And yeah, I think I think I can feel that he's given up all hope. Okay. I have a lot of respect for this guy because he's going to let us go to the end. And I hate it when people will... Oh, okay. Concede. Fair enough. GG, my man. GG. Okay, boss robot. Like a boss. So going first always sucks. I'm going up against a water deck. Again, I'm hoping... Well, I hope it's not Starmie Articuno because that is a seriously difficult deck to beat. And I do feel with Pikachu EX and Starmie, it's literally down to that coin toss. Um, whoever gets to go second will should always win not always but definitely like 90 percent of the time wow and we've got the dream hand right now so maybe this will not be such a one-sided fight okay and we've got magneton early on as well and we're going to make sure that we volt charge every round yes that is the perfect starting hand. It does not get much better than that. And just comes down to Pikachu EX just steamrolling. I feel like it's a bit of a shame because I was talking so much about Raichu. Um, but yeah, I think Raichu does take a backseat to Pikachu EX. Obviously, EX is just going to be doing all the work, just popping off, killing people quickly. But it's just that we have that backup from Raichu where he can step in and he can take people out. Can one shot Arcuno, no problem. Um, I guess the only issue that we do have is that. I think, yeah, we're gonna put it into Pikachu. The only issue that we do have is that. I don't know. I've lost my train of thought. I don't know what's going on about guys. Um, but yeah, it's just a shame because I do really want to showcase Raichu. It's just if you need him, really. He he does take a back foot to Pikachu EX. Okay, and that was lucky. I do feel like, is Misty the most broken card in the game? As in, she just doesn't work? I don't know if anyone else feels like that, but yeah, it is a little bit frustrating because she sort of just doesn't get the job done. Okay, so we're going to retreat bring in pikachu ex we're gonna potion our backline pikachu because we don't want to get articuno sneak in there gonna volt charge that was a bit stupid actually i could have just right you'd actually and saved that potion but it's okay i can live with it i can live with it so we're still in a pretty strong spot Gold Duck, yeah, I've, I, I'll be honest, it's very rare that I can go up against Gold Duck, and yeah, seventy damage for two energy is not bad, pretty strong card, but nowhere near as good as Starmie. 
And this is where I wish I had, um, yeah, I wish that I had saved that potion. It doesn't matter though. It looks like we're in a pretty strong spot. So yeah, taking boss down, to, well, we're two over, over the boss. Boss robot. And yeah, there's no way this guy can win now. I think he's used both Misty's as well. No, so could have Misty in there. Three for three, guys. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, guys. I think this is going to be the last one. Um, I've just had like really bad matchups or people just like quit. And it's just been like kind of pointless. I want to try and showcase the best. So going up against two trains. I'm going second. Perfect. Oh, a grass deck. Nice. I like it. So it's got to be, it's got to be Venusaur. If they're not running Venusaur, I don't know. I don't know what else you'd run with uh, with a grass deck. Oh, so a Greninja deck. Interesting. Interesting. Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of mixing up energies. The amount of times that I've just, it just doesn't go in your favor. It can be really frustrating. Oh, an Executor as well. Nice. So Executor is really strong. Um, does like sort of solid damage. Obviously, there's a bit of RNG if they hit really hard or just hard. But they are a really strong card. Okay, we've got Magnemite. So I'm going to keep Pikachu out there. Going to save Magnemite. Keep on the bench. And yeah, Froki, obviously, he's going to have a bit of a disadvantage just because of the matchup. And you know, back in the day, Execute was one of my favorite Pokemon. I don't know why. I just remember when I first sort of got them in Pokemon Red. And yeah, even though just like eggs with faces, always, always, always been a big fan. Okay, another Pikachu. This kind of kind of sucks because we don't have Raichu. Oh, I'm just thinking I don't want to do this, but just in case they do have Executor, we have to bring out Raichu. Otherwise, we could really be in a sticky situation. Oh, and they've got Frogadier. Yeah, and I just feel like he's a weak, a weak card. So I'm just trying to think, what do I want to do? Um, I would like to start powering up Pikachu EX. Kind of, it makes sense. Because um, with Raichu, obviously, once the damage is done, where we don't really have anything at the moment to keep him going. So we want to bring out Pikachu EX. We haven't used any X speed either. So we've got two X speeds in there and two professors. So that's sort of four out of 11 cards. All kind of just under, I would say not maybe 40, 60. So 40% chance of sort of getting what we want. So that's pretty good odds. And Greninja... It's going to start uh, popping off. So yeah, we're definitely going to need to start. We're going to let them, they're going to have to use Executor. Just trying to think. Yeah, we're going to save it. So next turn, we'll swap Magnemite with Pikachu. Take out Greninja and take it from there. I did think about using the swap, but yeah, it's just too risque. Uh, we are going to have to heal up Pikachu as well because that 20 damage plus the potential of getting 80 damage from Executor, too, too much of a risk, which we don't want to take. So always oh, popping off at Magnemite. That's quite, that was actually quite a good play. I wasn't expecting him to do that. So yeah, he's going to one shot Magnemite. That's cool though. And then we're going to bring in Pikachu EX. Just trying to 
think got n- sort of 90 damage or oh no it's gonna be oh yeah it won't be 90 damage because we don't have the power okay so we're gonna take out greninja we will pop an energy onto pikachu ex short circuit And then we're just going to do one damage to Executor. Yeah, sort of come, this, this is really down to RNG right now. So he's either going to do 40 or 80. I'm hoping he's just going to do 80 damage to us. No, 40. <laughs> Why would I want him to do more? So yeah, just hoping he doesn't hit too hard. And we could get outplayed here, actually. Especially with uh, Froki. He could sacrifice Froki and then use Executor. Okay, so he's just going to do 40. Or well, 50, even. But yeah, seriously strong card. Just, have we got any more potions? I don't think we do. No, well, there's one more potion sitting in the deck. Not going to use Sabrina. And this is really so I'm gonna retreat with Pikachu bring in Raichu do that 140 damage pow big hit like serious serious damage right there I guess that's one thing that's good about Raichu as well is he's kind of more reliable than Pikachu EX oh that is an issue though so he's just healed up and it just depends what he does. Is he going to keep Executor in the front? He is. All right, guys, it's going down. Even with that 80 damage, he probably thinks I've won this, but he's wrong. You don't know how wrong you are, my friend. So going to drop the energy there. And this is what I'm talking about. A lot of people don't know about this. So Raichu coming in hard, 140 damage. It's 1-1. One, one. There it is. See you later, buddy. And game over. Game over, man. Game over. So, yeah, that was like the perfect showcase of how to use Raichu. And as you can see, he's like a really, really strong card. And he brings some stuff that Pikachu EX can't do. And they are a great pair. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys actually start using Raichu as well. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash that smash that subscribe and I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.